In today's funny cartoon story joke, we fill you with the humor of a leprechaun that finds himself on the wrong end of a bad golf swing. Hold on to your hats, because this origin story might blow your mind. Well, maybe tickle it. Before we embark on this laugh riot, we'll take a quick detour to discover where these tiny terrors came from. Get ready for something funnier than a pair of socks searching for their partner in the dryer. Long before tourists flooded Ireland with shamrocks and Guinness, leprechauns were just tiny, grumpy fellas with a serious gold obsession. It all started with Finnegan McBoozy, a giant with an appetite that rivaled a bottomless pit. One day, Finnegan stumbled upon a grumpy little dude hammering away at something shiny. Oi, what you got there, short stack? boomed Finnegan, his voice cracking the very ground. The little guy, startled, dropped his hammer, revealing a pot overflowing with gold coins. Blimey, that's enough gold to buy every potato in Ireland. The leprechaun, aghast, sputtered. Those are my retirement savings. Give them back. Finnegan, ever the charmer, chuckled. Now, now, little fella. How about a deal? You fill my pockets with gold, and I'll leave you with enough to buy a decent thimble. Thus began the leprechaun's legendary stinginess. They learned a valuable lesson that day. Never trust a giant with a bottomless stomach and a penchant for borrowing. From then on, they became notorious for guarding their gold with a fierce and often hilarious determination, forever remembered as the mischievous little hoarders of Irish folklore. Did you know leprechauns have a union? Turns out, guarding pots of gold is hazardous work. They even have a dental plan, because apparently, all that gold isn't good for their tiny teeth. Buckle up, because this joke about a disgruntled leprechaun filing a grievance is about to leave you shamrocking with laughter. Picture this, a crisp Irish morning, the sun dappling through the ancient trees of a renowned golf course. Our protagonist, Seamus O'Flanagan, a man with a swing as unpredictable as the weather, lines up for his drive on the 18th hole. With a mighty heave, he unleashes his club, sending the ball soaring, straight into the thick, gnarled woods bordering the fairway. Seamus trudges into the undergrowth, cursing his wayward shot. As he pushes through the foliage, a flash of green catches his eye. There, lying prone with a colossal bump on his head, is a tiny figure, a leprechaun. Beside him, nestled innocently, lies Seamus's wayward golf ball. Horrified, Seamus grabs his water bottle and frantically splashes the little guy, reviving him with a jolt. Oh, what happened? The leprechaun croaks, rubbing his head. I'm so sorry. I must have hit you with my golf ball. Seamus exclaimed. The leprechaun, surprisingly spry, dusts himself off. Well, you've certainly given old Paddy a good whack there. But fear not, for I am a leprechaun, and as such, I grant you three wishes. Seamus, still shaken, stammers. Thank heavens you're all right. I don't need anything. I just hope you're okay. He turns and walks away, leaving the leprechaun bewildered. Now that's a decent fella. The leprechaun mutters to himself. He deserves something for his kindness. I'll bestow upon him the three things I'd most desire. A legendary golf game, wealth beyond his wildest dreams, and a love life hotter than a Dublin pub on St. Patrick's Day. A year later, Seamus finds himself back on the same course, standing on the very same 18th hole. As expected, his drive finds its familiar home in the woods. But this time, waiting for him with a mischievous grin, is the leprechaun. Well, 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 if it isn't the fellow who gifted me the most spectacular goose egg I've ever sported. Tell me, how's that golf game of yours? The leprechaun chuckles, Seamus beams. It's phenomenal. I'm a world-renowned golfer now, traveling the globe and winning tournaments left and right. Excellent. And how about your financial situation? Are you rolling in the dough? The leprechaun claps his tiny hands. Seamus pulls out a wad of hundred-dollar bills from his pocket. Money? It seems to magically appear whenever I need it. Splendid. Now the most important question. How's your love life? The leprechaun exclaims, rubbing his hands together. Seamus blushes, 
looking sheepishly at the ground. Well, it's decent. The leprechaun leans in, his eyes wide with curiosity. Decent, you say? Come on, be honest. How often are we talking? Once or twice a week, maybe. The leprechaun's jaw drops. Once or twice a week? That's it? After all I've done for you? Well, that's not bad for a Catholic priest in a small parish, is it? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.